Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, welcome back to uh, another Railway Empire video. This is part two of the automobile. And a quick recap in part one, we started out in Chicago. Our task was to deliver steel to Chicago and um, gasoline to Chicago so that automobiles could be made. So in that first part, we set up, we ended up going out. We looked for beer and uh, meat lines. We ran a line from Chicago to Rock Island where we have beer. We found a meat line up to um, Rochester, ran that. We ran, found a meat line down to Columbia, ran that. So we had, we ended up making what was basically a four city cluster out of these four cities, uh, Chicago, Rock Island, Rochester, and Columbia. And as we went along, we didn't do this build one line and run one train stuff that we, we've already seen by the numbers will uh, take some years to recoup your investment and make you money. We ran trains. So we ran a couple of trains between Rock, three trains between Rock Island and Chicago. We ran four between Rochester and Rock Island. We ran four between Columbia and Rock Island, and we made very good money. And our money started coming in. We used that capital to keep growing. And then we kept watching. We knew that there was an open slot for a uh, industry in Rochester, and there was one in St. Louis. So we kept watching to see what was going to happen. And sure enough, in Rochester, a, a computer uh, investor, if you will, uh, built a, um, a steel mill. And when he did, we said, all right, we're in business. So then we ran our lines down to get the iron ore and coal up here down to Rochester so we could start producing steel or so that industry could. So and then we set up the line so that we could ship that steel to Chicago. That's, but before we even set up that line or did any of the shipping of the raw materials, we went down here to where our oil is and looked at Columbia and Columbia grew and hit a point where they could do a new industry. So we, we made sure we had enough uh, capital and we built uh, an oil refinery in Columbia. Then we set up our oil delivery into Columbia. And prior to that, we had to actually set up a little bit of um, wood and uh, cattle just to make Columbia grow because we saw it was on the cusp. It was just about to burst into that 40,000 mark where we could put another industry down. So that gave us our, our refinery. Our uh, a computer buddy had uh, a, refi a steel mill up here. I, I don't even remember when it was exactly. At some point, we gathered enough money and bought the steel mill from him. So now we have the steel mill, and we actually built and we bought it so that we could uh, up it a little bit and up its production and speed up our delivery. And uh, so we so we set up these lines running down and bypassing Rock Island and going into Chicago, both for the steel from the from the north and from the south. The uh, gasoline from the refinery and that gave us both things we needed to start uh, delivering those to Chicago and we started we've started uh, making our deliveries we're about halfway through our steel and it's in it's just beginning the year of 18 of uh, 1912 now that's where we left off now if we stopped right there would we accomplish our first two goals I doubt it we might, but I doubt it, because what's going to happen is this. This is extremely important that we do this. There is no demand. There is no demand for automobiles. So that factory that produces cars in Chicago is going to build and take in the steel and the, and the petrol and the uh, gasoline, build enough cars to fill up his own warehouse, internal warehouse into Chicago with, with exportable goods. And when there's, those are peaked out and they have no room, they will shut down operations. They will quit building, quit demanding steel and gasoline. And our lines will stop shipping because the, the order in effect will come back here and this guy will quit creating steel. And uh, this guy down here will quit, quit creating um, um, petroleum, he, or, or, sorry, gasoline, because he has no place to send it. So we're starting uh, the second part with these, the thing that, that, that pulls all this together and makes it work. We have to go down here and connect Toledo, because as we said in, in part one, Toledo has this automobile warehouse, which basically creates 
It's a beautiful thing because it basically creates infinite demand for automobiles. So as long as we are shipping from that auto factory in Chicago to Toledo, we have a demand for automobiles and, and the, the, this car factory will sense that and keep creating them. That means that our steel mill will keep creating and keep shipping. Our uh, refinery will keep creating gasoline and keep shipping. So here, this is where we're going to take it up. We are going to uh, start shipping those uh, automobiles to Toledo. So obviously to do that, we have to connect Toledo. So that's our next task. And I'm going to, well, to make it fast, I'm going to um, start out with a small station. Well, everyone has to start somewhere. Yes, we do, dear. And so we're going to start with a small one to get, to get that line going, but it'll quickly uh, be uh, brought up to a, a reasonable size. So we've got a two-track station there. We need more. So we're going to expand the Chicago station. Oops. Oh, bad press. We're also going to put um, repairs on it me. because if we don't, the Toledo to Chicago line won't have repairs on either end. And we will take that third slot, the third platform three, and make that our Toledo line. And let's see if we can clean that up and make it a little less expensive. Yeah, <laughs> quite a bit, actually. All right, let's let it run until we get that. Uh, and we'll notice now, because we took the approach of building double tracks and running trains and making money, we, 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 we're going to be able to come up with the funds to make that connection pretty quickly. You can see our money racking up uh, fairly quickly here. I've got a bad condition. What is causing that? Uh, oh, I just put repairs here. That'll probably help with that. Do we have repairs up here? Oh, no. It we looks did. like okay. one of your trains has a problem. And... Okay. There's one side. Now we're going to double track this. This line's going to be very busy, and it's going to make us a lot of money because it's going to ship... It's going to have a steady... Pretty close to steady... Uh, full of trains because we're going to be shipping all those automobiles and when we don't fill up with automobiles there's always passengers and mail and any other goods that might need to be exported so we'll let that fire up let's see where are we on trains we've got the berkshire and i think we've got everybody running them okay And yes, I know I'm running an express train to call freight, but it's the best option we've got right now because of this. Oh, bad press. Who reads the papers these days anyway? Because of the uh, fact that it has over 100% traction and it, it can, it's, can clearly handle the load in this flat terrain. If we had a heavier train, maybe more mountains and stuff, maybe we'd have to think about a different route. And we will eventually go to the Mikado. That's kind of my goal is to get to the Mikado, which is a... A, a solid mixed-use uh, train, and it's a little more expensive than the Berkshire, but it isn't out of control like some of these uh, 1890s uh, trains are. They're very expensive. Whoops. Okay. We're going to give this line a couple of supply towers, so we need a little, few more funds to do that. Let's put a couple of put extra blocks between the towers. But again, I want these trains to spread a little bit, so I don't want to I don't want to overdo the tightness of this until I end up combining more stuff with it. If I do, so we're going to set up a line from Chicago to Toledo. Whoops and put a train on it and there goes those automobiles that's what we want to see and let's send them back the other way and let's 
let's duplicate. We'll run six trains on this line. That's three, four. Oh, I would have liked to have had that a moment ago. I would like that one, Beatrice. That reduces the price of our new locomotives even more. Makes the Mikado more expensive whenever it shows up and or more more reasonable. It makes these very cheap. One, two, three, four. Five and six. All right, and you can see by these trains coming out of Chicago that we're starting to ship our, our automobiles. That way, the demand will stay up and our this factory will keep working and we'll keep shipping and we'll be able to hit these two goals. You, probably with no problem at all, including this one down here shipping. Now the big task is to grow three cities to a population of 120,000. Now what we've got there, we've got Chicago started out as a big city, but it's it's kind of hovering around at 54. So we're going to give it a museum here as soon as we can get some money. All right. So let's give a give Chicago a lovely museum. Where can I put it? I'm trying to put it so it doesn't keep me from doing things in the future. That can be touchy. Uh, let me let me check some. Let me test something first. Let me see if a train station can even go on this side. Oh, it can. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Okay. I do want that museum though. Let's put it up here. Okay. All right, and would love to own that baby and own that whole thing. A million bucks. And of course we have to deal with our competitor bidding against us as well. Now there's the Mikado. Sweet. You have a new toy. What would it cost us to change them all? Uh, less than a million. That's that's a good deal. We will do that eventually. Right now, there's other fish to fry. Okay, so if we look at our tasks, we're going. We're good on those. We're good on that one. This is the toughie. Three cities, 120,000. So what we're going to do is focus on one city up here, Rochester. Let's see. Is that a good one? Yeah. We'll pick Rochester. Focus on them. Fire stuff into Rochester. Make sure it grows. We will make sure that Chicago gets over its, its uh, mark, but it should. It's growing now just because we put the museum in. And then we'll focus on Toledo because we also have to grow Toledo to 200,000 before this is over with. So even though this is a cluster, I'm not going to worry about the cluster so much as I'm going to focus on this one, one guy up here, Rochester, and make him grow. So he's at 75,000. So he's teetering on the growth marks. Uh, Meat industry is getting some, but he's not really connected. So we need to really pump the goods into, you know, there's a connection bonus. What is that? Okay, we're going, <laughs> we're going to grab that. We can use the funds, of course. This could be another one of those. We'll never use it, but that's okay. If you're going to offer me free money, I'll spend 64000 and get 217000 That's generally considered a good investment. All right, so what does this dude need? He, the first thing he needs is meat. We've already got, good news is we've got coal and iron ore being shipped in here, so he's got that covered. And we can look up here and see we can run logs down that line and uh, milk. So that might be a good way to go. Let's go with logs and milk and put those in there. So start with the furthest way when We'll run a line down and hook it up with the coal and ore line. Okay, double track it back.
Okay, that looks good. Let's run milk. And are we doing our Mikados yet? Yeah, let's we'll start. Uh, I don't know if I like that move. I like to have them all running the same train, but not to worry. It'll get fit. It'll be adjusted soon enough. Now let's do our logs. We can hook them up with the milk line, which then hooks up with the, uh, the main uh, delivery line down there, the coal and iron ore. Our signals look good, and and let's just stick with the uh, Berkshire. And in fact, I do want them to be the same speed, same capability. So let's. Replace this one with the Berkshire and actually get some money back. It actually goes faster, my goodness. That just doesn't seem right. And the logs, let's see, the logs, let's run a couple of those at least. Okay, and we'll keep an eye on this. Uh, is he ready for cement? Um, cement, yes, he has a need for cement. So we might as well give him cement, kind of work our way down. Now, we don't want to get this line totally clogged up. Let's um, expand this guy. See what that gives us over here. We'd like to be able to bring in some over here so we can put in a station. I mean, we can bring, we've already got the milk. <laughs> we have milk and logs we could done over here closer. All right, we can do the meat from over here and the cement. That would be great. So let's put in at least a, a regular train station. If it'll fit, come on now, don't give me problems. Okay, see we own, we, we put it in the museum and we own this, so that's that creates issues. I wonder if it'll expand, let's just see. Yeah, it will, all right, good deal. And we want it to have uh, repairs. And we wanna run cement into Well, a lot of holes there. Let's see. Let's bring this back up. All right, that'll do. I'm going to dig a hole in the earth, but that'll do. Okay, and we only need one line for that, so I'm going to put a, well, I'm going to put a supply tower in a moment. On the end here. And hopefully all, we'll be able to, any lines that come up from up there, we'll be able to use that. And set up a line. We can start delivering cement. into Carter Trough and why isn't he running? All right, all right. I give up. Oh, <laughs> maybe if I told him to go somewhere, that would be better. Okay, so now we have cement. All right, we've got cement. We need wheat, we need cattle. Now, cattle, cattle, cattle. We could come from here. This is closer, we have to cross a river. I like the closer one though. Let's go Shouldn't here. Shouldn't you also leave a bit of room for more efficient rail systems? 
Let's run right over here and let's use a different uh, socket, different platform. And this one will double track because we want to run about three trains in there, I think, to start with. I think I forgot. Well, I'll put the tower out here, and maybe somebody else will get use out of it. I forgot my plan to put it close by. All right, so now the beauty of these, every one of these we're making will make excellent profit. So we're not only uh, creating a situation where that town just has to grow, but we're also increasing our revenue with every one of these we make. All right, we've got logs, we've got milk, we've got, uh, we need wheat. We can run wheat here, the wheat's close right here. We'll run wheat right here. And we can run it to, this side has two free, so two free platforms, so we'll use one of those. So again, every one of these we make is increasing our revenue because it's going straight to the city, not to a warehouse. We're getting paid for it immediately, and it is helping us to grow that city, which is one of the things we need to do. And every time we grow that city, he does a better, we get more money on these other lines that are going between the city and Chicago, the city and uh, Rock Island. Uh, not that necessary, but. We did it anyway. And this guy, Chicago to Rochester, that would be a good place for a conductor. All right, so where are we? Get back over here. Okay, so our wheat line. One, two, three. And let's run some fruit in there. It's close by, why not? We might as well just join up with this guy. and check our signals and we'll just need one train for fruit and we might as well run veggies where's the best place over here I 
honestly, they may as well run into the same area. Uh, let's see. our signal make sure everything's cool and we're on one one train of veggies Rochester grows ah new industry and we can select it all right slow down and you know what we're going to select? <laughs> we are going to put a car industry in Rochester. We've already got the steel and we will soon have the um, ga um, gasoline because we are going to put a train station. If we'll fit, come on baby, fit. Fit, fit, fit. Mm -hmm. What do we got over here? What is that? Our refinery is in the way. Speaking of which, give them a museum. Okay. We can put, do we have a free line? No. All right, we're going to we're just do a little jumping. We're going to put a large train station. Here. And we're just going to jump the track. We're going to. Run a line. Just happens to be a free one right there, but that's oh. It's okay, right there. So <laughs> let's see what damage we've done with this monster line. Built some magnificent bridges, that's for sure. Three percent, two eighty one. That's not bad. Okay, I like it. You have now successfully transported steel. All right, good deal.
Now, by the way, we do have a four city cluster. We've got them all connected. By that, I mean with we have direct lines between each. Each of the four cities has a direct line to each of the other four, uh, each of the other three cities in the cluster. So it's a true cluster. Now I'm going to uh, just go back to board here. And yes, I could have done this before the supply towers. Okay, now we're going to run a line, which by the way will be a nice profitable line even without all this, between Columbia and Rochester. Don't be sad. You can't win everything. And then set up the other side of that line, going that way. And I'm going to really hold back here and only run six trains on this line. That's hard for me to do, but I'm going to do it. Two, three, four. And I have no idea. I think that's six. <laughs> Okay. Now, petroleum will start. Already transported an astounding number of automobiles. It would seem like they are not a temporary phenomenon after all. Okay, petroleum will start shipping up here to our car industry. And what we're going to do next? Can you see it coming? There's going to be a car industry down here in Colombia as soon as we make it big enough to get either that, or we're just going to rip that uh, meat business. Actually, that meat business is not necessary. I'd like to get rid of it. What can we do? Oh, that's Beatrix. Ah, we can't get rid of her, unfortunately. Yeah, well, actually, we can. Actually, it's an easy way to own that, isn't it? Huh. Huh. There's an easy way to own that. Uh, three, four million dollars. Well, it's four million dollars. That's nothing. Let's see here. You have now also started transporting gasoline. All right, good for us. So again, that growing the three cities is the biggie. So back on task here. Is this city growing? It is not. It's up to 100,000. Our car industry needs petroleum, which is coming. I'm even going to expand it one. We know petroleum is on its way. Oh, oh, oh. And the other thing we're going to do, this is evil, but our line between Columbia and Chicago is no longer going to carry, uh, I keep calling it petroleum, gasoline to Chicago. Sorry about that. But that's not my uh, factory, so um, sorry about that. And man, I wish you could do these whole lines in one fell swoop instead of train by train. I do like having the train by train control once in a while, but I would give it up to be able to manage a line as a whole line, the way I think of a line, which is the route, not the, a train running back and forth. Okay, so petroleum's not going there anymore. That's going to hurt them a lot. And we can also, man, we got a backup here. What the? What's going on? Well, they're the only ones going in there, so I don't know what to do about it. All right. So Rochester is growing again, barely though. I'm sure if it could get its goods in there faster, it would grow even more easily. Silly game's not easy, is it? Okay, 
So, oh, what do I want to do with Rochester? Oh, I'd like to cut off this. Well, if my car industry is taking a lot of my uh, steel, then that's going to cut off some of the some of the uh, shipments to Chicago. What I'd also like to do is start taking those to Toledo because I don't want to cut off my nose to spite my face and end up these beauties here that are hauling all these. Oh, we're, I think we're already hauling these uh, cars. I think we're already starting to see it slow down. When this petroleum, or gosh, gasoline quits going up here, this guy's going to shut it off. And the good news there is we'll stop shipping the, the steel automatically because the orders will stop here. Then guess what we're going to do? We're going to buy that one. <laughs> and then that will give us uh, real capability, and then we'll turn turn the shipments of, of uh, gasoline back on, and it'll be able to go to both places. And that'll give us the two. See, we need to have two places we have it, and we need to do four a, a week, and that's, that will not be an issue uh, once, we, once we do all these evil things that we're doing here, or we're planning. So we, I may, we may pass on this. We may not have to build another one down here. It, I mean, it'd be so easy though because we already have this line, and the steel could come down here, and the patrol and the <laughs> gasoline could go up there. It'd be so easy. Uh, we got we got to give them more stuff. Oh, it's always more uh, sugar. They don't have any cement. How could they not have cement? No, they just got some. I think. Uh, sugar, sugar, here we go. Sugar, sugar. All right, let's wrap this one up, and hopefully you'll join us for part four coming up shortly. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.